So the World Cup is three months away and Nike already have their eye on the ball, excuse the pun. Today they released their 2018 World Cup kits, the latest mercurial and a very special secret collab with the pacemakers of streetwear culture. So we're going to talk to some of football's biggest stars, we're going to talk to the designers of the World Cup kit and then maybe we'll get a little glimpse of Virgil and Kim Jones. Stay tuned. Tell me, how do you feel about the World Cup? Are you pumped? Are you ready? I'm pumped. Obviously, it's unfortunate the U.S. isn't in it, but the World Cup is, is the best ever. Tell me, how are you feeling about the World Cup? Good, good, huh? Good. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Of course we are ready. We all are ready. We want to play this kind of game, you know? Who's your favourite to win the World Cup? Nigeria. Nigeria. If not Nigeria, England. I'm supporting. You get me? I'm um, excited, yeah. very excited. I think everyone in the world's excited. It's the world game, it's the most important you know, football event. So yeah, I'm pumped. Do you feel ready? Oh, still a while, but yeah, I feel ready. I wish it was tomorrow. But who's your favorite for the World Cup? Uh, apart from England, um, Brazil okay. or Niger. Niger, they better win in that kit. <laughs> that kit's sick. And why do you think it is that streetwear is having such a moment? It's true, it's just true, isn't it? It's not, it's, there's no... There's no fakery about it, it's just what it is. Like, we're, like everyone's out there doing what they're doing and they want to look nice and feel nice, so it goes hand in hand. And it's nice to see, like, with the internet, everyone acknowledge it together, you know? Yeah, it's like pretty intricate at the moment. I love it, I love the collabs. Um, I love the everyday, like, fresh pair of sneaks is coming out. And it's awesome, it's kind of mixing art and sport together, which are like two of my favorite things. Yeah, man, I love the crossover. You know, before it was, sportswear was just predominantly for sports. You know, you never wore it on the roads. And now the crossover, and that's just, that's sports in itself. That's how big sports come. It's just become an everyday part of life. Um, and then just to be able to rock it every day, look, it's a beautiful thing, so long may it continue. Yeah, I think um, the sportswear, traditional sportswear companies, I think are now setting the trends, and because they're leading with innovation. Now you kind of started to see how lifestyle brands and luxury brands are basically taking performance, silhouettes, innovation and then they're kind of remixing that for the streets. I, I've, always, I've always thought of it as one thing so I don't really think about it. I mean for me there's two ways to think about sportswear which is American sportswear which is, is includes a lot more clothes and then you know I think I'm from the first generation that really grew up wearing it so that's kind of it's a obvious thing to me. I just want to send a shout out to the Tracksuit Mafia, send a shout out to all my boys that have been putting this work in from before. This is a life, this is how, like, how we live every day to get through the day, past police, through any situations, be inconspicuous, get our stuff done and get back to the house, you get what I'm saying? So it's sick that we have become something that's fashionable now, yeah, that's sick, I like it. Final question, I want to know, what do you get kick out of? Play football. Nice. <laughs> Scoring goals. <laughs> Uh, I see seeing this stuff on pitch is like well actually you see it's it's not just on pitch but if you're walking down the street in any town across England you'll see people who are wearing your designs. I think in the process the piece of the component of the process that I enjoy the most is watching the players faces the first time they see the boot the first time they try the boot to see players like Neymar when they score for the first time. For me, that is one of the most uh, rewarding parts of the process, to see the boots on pitch. Uh, I don't know, what do I get happy about? Like, I don't know, when a new check comes in, like I, when I get paid? <laughs> yeah, because when I was on the streets before, a lot of pain was direct, it was instant, like I'm, I give you something, you give me it back now. Like when you work, like you wait for a lot, you know? You do work and you go home and you're tired and you're like, why did I do that? Oh yeah, I got paid, but not today. So you wait. It's like three months later, you know? right? Then when you get paid, you're like, oh, it's for that. Bah! Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, when I get paid, man, I feel good. Get to take my friends out, buy them stuff, enjoy myself. Yeah, man, look after my people and my family and stuff. <laughs>